Hello, Deb. How are you doing? And hello, everyone who watches this on replay. I hope you're well. Catherine's going to be listening in. So. Oh, how's the writing going? How's your day going? Just let me know. Let me know when you get a second. All right. Well, one of the things I'm going to talk about today, since um, I know Sarah's not going to be here and uh, some of the others may be late or not sure. Hello, Deb. Um, so I'm actually just going to start out and, and tell you what I was going to show you today. Um, you know, we've talked about... Um, Jenny. Hello, Jenny. I hope you're well. Uh, we've talked a lot about, uh, well, at least we've talked in passing about um, dictation and how useful that can be. Sorry, the kitty, kitty's over here cleaning himself and he was actually closer to the microphone than me. So it's like, I should bring this closer. <laughs> Deb has 468 words. Yay. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Excellent, Deb. Well done. Have you put it in at Nano? Have you, have you been tracking there? Do let me know. Have you gotten any, any writing done, Jenny? Or any even research or outlining or, or anything? 4.35 at lunch. Well done. Well done, Jenny. Well done. You guys are great. You guys are great. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. So I'll just... Oh, Deb, kitties are cute when they wash. I'll update Nano tonight. Good, 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 good. Oh, yeah. And it's like, is Boo Boo ever not cute? <laughs> Hello. Aloha, Allison. I hope you're well. How's the writing going? How are you doing? I should just turn it so you can just see him. Hello, cuteness. How you doing? You come to my lap? He's like, no, you kicked me off of your lap because you had to get up. All right, so. Um, all right, so it's been kind of quiet. So, all right, I'll, I'll go back to, to what I was starting to say. The one thing I wanted to go over today uh, was that we had talked about, um, oh, Jenny, that's sweet. We had talked about dictation. And in, in talking about dictation, um, you know, it can, be, it can be really useful and you get a lot accomplished more quickly. Definitely happens for me. Um, I mean, it saves me a huge amount of time, even just time stamping my other live stream. Ever since I started using Dragon for that, I can get those, I can get that stuff in quickly and saves me, you know, time and mental energy. So dictation is, is a great thing. Okay. However, there's something about not just thinking about dictation, but if you're really stuck or something to think about in future for promotion or, um, oh, Allison, it's been a crazy week, but I'm getting dictation done. Still trying, still fighting, still getting, still being creative. Yay. Uh, Deb, I used dictation this morning before work. It helped. Excellent. See, it's great stuff. It's great stuff. So something to think about. I don't know if, if any of you had much of a chance uh, to go and look around 
my website. And if you didn't, that's fine. I, that's totally fine. Um, but one thing I did on there uh, a while ago is I actually recorded a very short piece of the beginning of one of my novels, the one that hasn't come out yet. And I recorded it. It's just a little piece. It's not very long. And then I went and I found a website where it's, I think it's called, actually called like free sounds or something like that. And you can go in and you can get um, some, I, I put some basic sound effects in the background. And I just, I just downloaded audacity, audacity, like, oh, the audacity of that person. Well, it's called audacity. And it just allowed me to just put nothing, <laughs> nothing really elaborate. It, it was just the, the basic, the me talking. And then I was able to go, uh, okay. Uh, creaking floor here. Uh, what was What else have I got? Um, chain wind, uh, howling through the whatever. Okay. I'll just stick that there. So this was not some high, super high tech, amazing, perfect, uh, microphone. No, this was years ago and I just used whatever I had and I used a free program and I just, just like, uh, this uh, here, th there. So actually I was going to play it for you. So you don't have to go look cause it's not that long. So I know that sounds really egotistical of me, but I'm hoping it will help inspire. It's kind of what I'm hoping. So um, let me go see, let me go, let me go grab it. Let me go over here, it'll be just a moment, just a moment, if it will ever load. Come on now, work with me here. Or I can just ignore me completely. Oh no, here we go, okay. All right. So I will come here and I will share the screen. And let me look for this. Um, and again, I'm not sharing this to be like, ooh, look at me. No, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give you an idea of what's possible, even with uh, very limited... Okay, why is it fuzzy? That's odd. Okay, that seems strange. Am I, am I fuzzy? Hmm. Try again. Let me try again. That was weird. Usually it's quite clear. Share audio. Share. Okay. Well, it is audio, so I guess it doesn't matter if it's fuzzy. <laughs> if the image is fuzzy, although that makes no sense to me. Um... I'm just checking over here quickly. Yeah, it's fuzzy. I'm not. It is just a window. Yep. All right. Well, it is for some reason it's fuzzy. I have no idea why. So anyway, this is uh, the mind is a house. It's it's just under three minutes long. Hello, sweetheart. It's the beginning of um, a, a book called Alice and the King of Hearts. And then I even put just additional sounds, creaky woody floor by Sound Recorder 7, Wooden Door 2 by Nelson Bowman, Mystic Wind Howling by Hin Tringer, and Gale Wind by Landub. Sure, okay. All right, so hopefully you'll be able to hear this. It takes a second to get going.
The mind is a house. In my mind, I've moved from a room no bigger than a closet just off the kitchen. I can climb the stairs now. I can at least do that much. The bedrooms at the top of the stairs are for show. Plush, polished, lightly perfumed. Of course, I can sleep there if I want. But I never sleep well. Not in those rooms. Nothing fits me. There is a closed door at the end of the hall. Not even visible until you reach the end. That is my bedroom. This is the bedroom that belongs in the house. That hidden door opens easily. It has been opened often enough. Sweep of the door across the floor. Long ago, brushed clean a quarter circle of mostly bare floorboards. Beyond that, farther inside the room, the rest of the floor is littered with debris, making it difficult, although not impossible, to go inside. This is a corner room, and the two outer walls are gone. The ceiling, attic, and the roof above them went with the rest. What remains of the walls around the edges is little more than jagged and splintered wood, brick dust, shattered glass. The roof collapsed above me in the surrounding attic, weakly protecting that interior that runs the length of a building. The detritus strewn across the floor leaves me more hopeless than it should. There must be a way to fix this, but I don't know how. I sleep in the small room next to this one. Cold from that blasted out room seeps through what is only an inner wall. That wood, plaster, and drying, shrinking insulation were never meant to withstand the elements or the outside. But that is how it is. The single bed where I sleep is old, but good enough for me. The blankets are never quite enough to completely fight off the cold. So I've learned to shift down in the bed a little, so I can tuck the sheet and blankets tightly around my neck. With my legs curled in, my back close to that truly inner wall, I can sleep. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So it's not, it's not like, you know, it's not going to set the world on fire, but, um, oh, thank you, Deb. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's very kind. Um, but it, it really, listening to what you've written Um, listening back gives it a whole other level. And then if, I don't know, I mean, that's just a three minute piece. It's obviously not, you know, a huge piece of writing. It's not a whole audio book, but hearing it back, not even just like having a mechanical voice read it to you can be helpful to catch typos. Very useful to catch typos, by the way. I never put out anything before I've, I've actually had a computer read it to me because the brain will fill in missing words that it thinks should be there, but you didn't actually put in. So um, that's useful, but being able to, hello, Katie, being able to um, he really hear it back in your own voice as the writer uh, is really add something to it. And then, like I said, it's easy. It's not a huge technical, you know, marvel um, to even add some sound effects in the background a little bit. So, um, Allison, I love this. It will great background sounds for my story. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Deb, I use the read aloud for my writing at work. Really helps. There we go. Katie, I always edit with voice. Well, good. Good, good. Hello, kitten. What do you think? Hmm? What do you think? Whoops. What'd you do? Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Hello, everybody. All right. I need, I need the mouse. I know. 
Mice? Mice taking more, more importance than me? Surely you jest. Come here. So, um, come here, you big goof. Do the kitty. Do the kitten. So, uh, anyway, but I, I wanted to share that with you. I wanted to share that with you. Um, just to give it to give it a thought because there are also audiobooks. And audiobooks read by the author uh, can be can be really good. Um, they can be bad. It depends on you know how much you get into it. Uh, but it's not it's not an impossible thing to do. And it's also a great way to promote your writing and being able to put, you know, give access to people who may not um, may not otherwise have, you know say picked up your book but they heard a clip they heard this they heard part of the audiobook they you know so having something at SoundCloud having something on YouTube these are just other ways to uh, potentially make a connection with readers what program is this? Uh, I just it, I, the, I just used the I made actually made that quite a few years ago or several years ago. Hi. I just used a free program called Audacity, as in who has you, you have the audacity to read this? It's a it's a free program and it's not it's not a wildly complicated thing. Deb, my younger son has been training expensively to do voiceover. He's taken some audiobook jobs. Well, very cool. I mean, if he can, yeah. I mean, there are obviously better ways to to do it with better equipment and and what have you. But um, you for your own writing, and and there are some people who really they're not, they're, they're not even really big on audiobooks unless it's read by the author. Because you get the nuance and you get to know the author better in a way. So, um, but that's very cool that your son's doing voiceovers. I know quite a few people would be very jealous of that. Cat Shepherd, I'm like Charles Dickens. I do voices for my characters. Well, that's so cool. I wish I could. <laughs> I'm not good at stuff like that. That's cool. You should record that. So, um, but anyway, having having a computer read a dictation is amazing, and having a computer read to your stuff to you is really useful, uh, really useful. I do not recommend publishing without it. Um, but hearing back what you've what you've written, recording recording what you've written, even with just basic stuff that you have. You know, your, your basic computer, your basic built-in microphone or whatever. And then hearing it back, it takes on a whole life of its own. So there's more. When, so that can also be useful if, if you're feeling like your writing's flat. Because there's something that's called, um, uh, there's something called fading ink syndrome. And... Um, Oh, hi. Fading ink syndrome is when you're so excited to write something and you're going to do this. It's going to be so great. And you write it down and you look at it or you give it to someone to read and you're just like, that was so much more exciting in my head. Even though you wrote it the best you could. Um, no, you're okay. You're okay. So, um, oh, thunk kitten um i can believe god was talking about you can set different voices for your characters in final draft which is designed for writing scripts oh yeah i've listened to stuff in in final draft uh it's in windows it's pretty limited though because it's really only taking two voices and like you can kind of have the regular and then you can make it like one note one bit deeper for a different character or one bit higher 
or you can make it faster, slower, but I don't recommend that at all. It gets really icky instantly. But uh, so I've, I've broken that out. And so I can hear uh, the scri scripts, the screenplay writing back, which is quite useful. Um, Deb, the Were Goat Bluesman is the most developed voice so far. He's a hoot. Oh, cat, come on. You got to record this. You got to record this. How cool is that? That's like extra super massive, mega cool. So please, please, oh, please. Um, but that's. So, oh, fading ink syndrome. So one of the ways that you, when if you've been writing and you're suddenly feeling like I've done all this work, I've tried so hard and it's kind of flat. If you record it and you listen back in your own voice to read it with feeling and then listen back, uh, it really... Um, it takes on a whole new life. So I highly recommend it. And I, again, the free program is called Audacity. But um, there, there are basic apps that have come out since then where you can just much more easily just add in little bits of sound effects if you want, or you don't even have to do that. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to share that. But it sounds like... Um, It sounds like Kat uh, is is our MVP on the uh, the audiobook with all the different voices. I use a MacBook Pro. Uh, Katie's saying I use a MacBook Pro. Used to do Windows tech support. Not my favorite operating system. Okay. Kat is saying his Gestalt form mixes Ebex Sable, Antelope, and Pronghorn, Black Cherokee from Huma, Louisiana. Hello, Aletha. I hope you're well. Um, so that's that's um, Deb. Thanks for sharing the audacity idea, Sebastian. I love the concept. Oh, good, good. I'm glad you liked it. It is definitely. Uh, it's taken some bits of right. I mean, I, I that one I I put out on SoundCloud, but it definitely has taken some writing I otherwise was just like, eh, nobody would like this. And then record it, listen to it. And then it's like, well, maybe, <laughs> maybe this isn't as bad as I thought. So anyway, yeah, that is a cat. That is, does sound like a great character. Absolutely. All right. Well, you guys have been writing and working it and sneaking in times to work. And um, it's impressive. It's impressive. So just want, just want to mention, face it, you're awesome. Face it. It's just how it is. All right. How are you doing, Aletha? Just let me know. And is there anything anybody else wants to talk about? Because that was that was kind of that was my thing. That was that was my uh, show and tell today. Yeah, year, years ago, um, while people are typing, Deb, oh, you're wonderful cheerleader, Sebastian. Oh, good. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying because I'm on your side. And I want to see you succeed. I, a number of years ago, I, I made friends in the, um, I'm not on Reddit now, not in the Trump era, but before the Trump era, I was actually on uh, Reddit for a while. They have an audio uh, section, which is where I found out about Audacity, which is free, like I said. 
Um, and, but I made a couple of friends and uh, they've, they've gone on to have, you know, there's one who has his own uh, YouTube channel and Patreon and the whole thing. And um, he's always doing stuff, making recordings and doing the gaming and doing the, you know, you name it. And then there's a, uh, there's a man who I follow um, I am on Patreon who isn't as well known, but he's got a fantastic voice. I'm, I am a sucker for a good voice. And so, um, and when I find a really good voice, then it's like, maybe I could come up with $2 a month, you know, just to be able to hear that voice sometimes. So, um, but anyway, I, I was missing the good news here. Katie, I'm taking a new moon day today. Scarface is my top priority. Self-care. Why did I say Scarface? My brain filled that in as Scarface. I'm tired. Self-care is my priority today. Yes, that's what's important. Scarface. Sorry. Uh, Aletha, 815 words yesterday. Yes. Yes, our MVP has done it again. Cat, they're all that colorful. Oh, the characters. The wolf wife is going Portuguese and a history teacher. The were eagle is an Athabascan that fled to Mongolia and hooked up with a Mongolian street performer. You're having fun. You're having fun and that's wonderful. I love it. I love it. Rebecca, I had a few problems getting in and getting sound, but all's well now. Oh, hello, Rebecca. Hello. Uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, well, YouTube is kind of weird recently. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, you guys are awesome. I love that. So, uh, is there, well, yeah, it's, that's myth punk. You gotta have fun with it. Sounds like you're having beyond Terry Pratchett levels of fun with it. Hello, Rebecca. Uh, it, is there something you guys want to talk about? Rebecca, no words to report today, maybe sometime this evening. Good, 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 me too. Yep. After dinner, after dinner. When I leave here, I'm gonna go, I'm trying, Gardein has a vegan, some kind of, I guess the, it, it would be the, the Thanksgiving equivalent of a, um, Chicken cordon bleu, is that it? The one where you where it's you have a, a kind of a stuffing and then you've got a meat like thing around it and then it's breaded or something. And um, so I've got two in the pack, so I was gonna try one tonight, see if it's any good, so I could have the other at Thanksgiving or I have to get something else. But anyway, so I'm having that and broccoli. But I have to I it's gonna take a while to bake. But um have that and then sit down and attack my notes and uh, use Dragon to get notes in and keep filling things, fleshing things out. That's my evening. Cat is complimented at being compared to Terry Pratchett. Well, he seems like the kind of person who, who would want everyone to succeed. <clears throat> Rebecca, I wasn't able to watch B and O today, but I saw the video yesterday and I laughed a lot. It was pretty funny. Oh, good. Excuse me. I'm going to pause or uh, mute you for a second or mute me. <clears throat> um, t 
today was pretty good. There was there was very silly dancing briefly by me. I even got up. It was very silly. Hellboy. Okay. Oh, love Hellboy. Okay. <clears throat> uh oh, got the coughs too. No, my throat's dry. That's all it is. Well, wow, I will have to see it for the dancing. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Alita, you said that you got 815 words done. Are you are you happy with that? Are you uh, enjoying the story? Because you're amazing. How's your next silly dancer? I'm fine. I'm fine. And right now, I, I'm probably not doing my, my shoulders any favors, but I, he's warm and he's happy. So I'm hunched up in the chair. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'll probably pay for it later, but mm, he's worth it. Are you still with us, Aletha? I saw you, you come in and just MVP, mine. And just swan past. Silly dancing is good self-care. Buzzy, buzzy, buzzy. Aletha, happy with my story. Yesterday did not hit my plan 2,000 words, but I was tired from work. Oh, no kidding. Oh, because you've got, you've got this draining job, mentally draining job that you're training for, which makes it four times as draining. And you're getting all this writing done. It's amazing. Katie, I sent you some Reiki. Oh, thank you. Aletha, it's amazing. Yeah. Rebecca, you're pretty incredible, Aletha. We are in awe of you. So. I was just having a look. Well. Yes, Katie, you are my hero, Aletha. Yes. I'm going to agree with that one. Well, apparently, I'm stuck here. <laughs> and she did a live stream until three in the morning, just sitting there, chatting off and on. He's warm, he's happy. Lisa, thanks everyone. Just doing my best or trying to. Well, you are a, you you are our hero. You have gone above and beyond, and it's impressive. At least you're warm with the happy kitty. Oh yeah, I'm lucky. I am lucky. I may as well have a, a lucky horseshoe around my neck all day long. But um, yeah, that's how they're going to take over the world. <laughs> They, um, they I, I thought they almost had. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, um, that's going to do it for me for today. At Aletha, I'm just trying to actually win Nano this year. You could do it. You can do it. You can. And you're doing a great job. KD, that's okay with me. I adore cats. Yep. Me too, Aletha, but you're doing so much better than I am. Yeah. You're doing better than I am. But I but I'm not I'm not giving up. Okay, thank you, Sebastian. Oh, 
Thank you, Kat. Thank you for everything. You guys are great. Allison, I posted my, oh, well, your few words above. You, wait, wait, wait. Did I, I write it out, didn't I? You got dictation done. 534. Yes, I saw. I read out. I read it out. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Allison, that was great. That was great. Aletha, all of us are awesome just for showing up. Absolutely. All right. Well, keep up the writing. You're doing a great job. You're you're being creative. You're you are helping. Uh, you just express, you're helping everything in your life just by expressing yourself and, and bringing these wonderful things into the world. So, uh, yes, uh, all of us rock. Yeah. It's just how it is. Yeah. And we all have words now we didn't have at the beginning of the month and that matters. All right. So anyway, I am going to sit here and collect dust for a while. Actually, I really want to go put on dinner, but sit here and collect dust. But anyway, uh, I hope you guys have a great evening. Thank you for being here. Thank you for stopping by. And uh, keep up the writing. All right. And uh, oh, we'll talk tomorrow. Okay. All right. Have a good night, everybody. And let me know if you need anything. Just let me know. Have a good evening, everybody.